Mama did. I mean, the film has this kind of no holds barred hour long action sequence, <laughs> <laughs> sort of in the middle of it, which just doesn't stop. Do you remember when you read the script and just thinking like, this is this is insane? Yes, yeah, mental. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but also, like, that's what I expected. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, wh what else are we going to do in a Jurassic World? I mean, of course, there's the science and there's the uh, human element that's ultimately the most important, but uh, you got to do that. I mean, I got a thrill just as an audience member just seeing Laura Dern and Sam Neill, Jeff Goblin back together on screen. That's just me sort of sitting in a crowd. How was sure. it being a co-star? I mean, it, I mean, you're you're an actor. You're yeah. in the zone. You're, yeah. you're as your character. You're not yeah. starstruck or, or like kind of like overwhelmed as a character. That's where you're but wrong. inside. <laughs> are you, I'm going to say inside. Can you still be a bit like shit? This is this is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, typically I would say that's certainly the case. Don't care. Um, we're here to work, and you're, you know we're working together, and hopefully having a great time doing it. Um, but because I was a kid when I watched that movie, and those two were those characters. And I'm working with them, like, what, 20 plus years later as those characters. I'm like, what's going on here? This is the most bizarre feeling. It was the most bizarre feeling I ever had on set. But it was also super cool, and they were so, so great and gracious. So, you know, ended up well, but I was, I was, um, visibly nervous. <laughs> I mean, how was it, it's all about being nervous, how was it acting around dinosaurs or dinosaurs? I mean, is it, is it harder than it looks? Because I guess, you know, when no, people sort right. of do their kind of um, drama school training or kind yeah. of learning how to act, it's all, sure. this, is, this is so kind of far removed in some ways from the kind of, um, what you might learn at school, for example, which not is really. kind of very kind of theater based. No, kind of, I yeah. wouldn't say so, not at all. Actually, I think it lends itself super, wonderfully well. I mean, well, the animatronics do, do their, I mean, they're so beautifully made that it does it for you. Um, but in terms of everything else, imagination is imagination. And um, sometimes I use like ludicrous like imagination for like, you know, like a family drama. Like it could be like a pink dinosaur that's like flying around. So like, oh, this is just happens to be the case. There's a dinosaur for real, you know. So, uh, yeah, it just really depends on the situation. Um, and the only thing that was challenging, again, I, I've said this a thousand times, I feel like already today, but was being precise, you know, with like where I am and where I'm looking at at a given moment. Because you really had no margin for error. So what do they typically use in those scenes for like, if there is a, supposed to be a T-Rex fight behind you? Is it, I mean, you, I know the kind of tennis ball on a stick is the old fashioned way. I don't think we used but... any tennis balls or anything like that. I think we just were given a mark um, for, cause again, it was a lot of animatronic, but um, I think for some of those other ones, it was like a mark on a green screen. But uh, again, I didn't really interact with a ton of dinosaurs in this movie, as you probably remember. So. <laughs> yeah, because I've been interviewed, you said you didn't, uh, initially, you weren't oh. sure if you wanted to, but if you don't mind me asking, why Why was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here's the part where I regret admitting that. <laughs> um, it just seemed like, it, it. you know what? I just, I thought it was gonna be a lot of, I thought it was going to be a pain in the ass, but I, uh, honestly, but like honestly, it was the most fun, and I wish I had gotten to do more of it because it was so cool. Even when they weren't there, I was like, "This is awesome," you know. Um, but I thought it was just going to be like hyper technical and like super rigid, and just like I like acting to just be free, as opposed to like mm -mm, you know uh, that kind of like robotic kind of puppeteer feeling. Um, but yeah, it was, it was it wasn't like that, and I found a lot of freedom in it. Mm -hmm. Well, now we need to just get a sequel, so now you can go to Colin and say, "Look, yeah, hey, yeah, I, I, I made a mistake. Give me a few more." I made a mistake. Although there's always the risk of dying if you give it, if you get a few more <laughs> dinosaur encounters. Yeah, um, <laughs> your character as a character has a kind of kind of whoop me whoop moment. You know, there's kind of moments where you're when you're still be. I'm not going to sort of give any spoilers, but your character has moments where in an audience you want to go like, "Yeah, like oh. that." Have you had the uh, opportunity yet to watch this in a crowd with? with I me? haven't yet. I haven't yet. Hmm. Maybe I should. I, <laughs> I saw it with Colin like in like a, a sound stage, but um, I haven't. I'll think about it. I don't know. Do you have plans for opening night though? Take the family or anything? Uh, my family's in Maryland, and the premiere will be in LA. You know, uh, well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have some friends coming, but uh, I don't know. I get nervous about those things. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just very funny, I wanted to ask uh, just quickly, quickly about working with, with Colin, because I think that these films, they're such a, they require such an incredible brain to put it together. I mean, I know it's sort of everyone sort of talks about what Michael Bay does in Transformers. When I watch it, I'm overwhelmed by what he's created. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and Colin's done a, a fantastic job with this. And I mean, you've got into sort of producing. Do you, uh, does, oh, it, does, this yeah. show, does this make you kind of uh, excite you about the, one day maybe doing something behind the lens? Or is actually, can it, does it make it look quite 
challenging. No, this one's, <laughs> I mean, this one makes it look daunting. Because, yeah. I mean, the amount of uh, knowledge this dude has about dinosaurs in general, I'm like, what? I don't know anything that well. <laughs> um, but uh, also just the amount of, uh, it, it, yeah, with this, Maybe not this, but uh, like, you know, it, like some kind of tiny indie. <laughs> it's like just very character focused. That seems more manageable to start. Uh, but yeah, I am interested in going behind the lens eventually, but I also have a great deal of respect of how much time and effort and work it is. So, um, you know, you would want to tell a story that you're really, truly passionate about and also get some reps in you before you, you know, take that plunge. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hey, appreciate likewise, it. man. Oh, appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.